Well, you've no doubt heard about the dangers of the drug fentanyl, but imagine being accidentally exposed to it. WRG's Alex Coleman talks with a Memphis woman who says that exact thing happened to her. Photos of Virginia Terrell show a 41-year-old college graduate, a mother, and a manager of a busy Beale Street restaurant. What these pictures don't capture is a woman trying to survive the possible repercussions from an accidental exposure to fentanyl that could mean the loss of a job and time in jail. She's not sure how she was exposed. I work on Bill Street and like I said, I'm the manager and I am one of those people who go into the bathroom regularly to plunge the toilet and clean the sinks and things of that nature. So, you know, there, there's, there's just no telling. What complicates her story is she's also in drug intervention court. She says at one time her drug of choice was crystal meth. I am in recovery. Uh, my drug of choice was not fentanyl, but I am on intervention court due to my past history. Through the daily course of my actions, I come in contact with a substance that showed up on my drug test as fentanyl. She says she's been clean for three years, but finding out about the fentanyl exposure has turned her life upside down. I felt so violated that, that this could be in my system after I had worked so hard to make sure that, that nothing of, of that such is in there. But she's not just concerned about her health. I risk incarceration because of my past, and, and <laughs> this I feel like I'm in a, a very horrible cycle, even when I'm getting my head above water. She also worries about her job. I, I love my employer, and so it, it does uh, put a, a small dark spot on my heart to know that to, to maintain the, the uh, criteria to be met by drug court that I may have to leave my place of employment. No matter her outcome, she wants others to know about the dangers of fentanyl exposure. Yes, I am on a mission. I'm on a mission to help save families and lives and community. Alex Coleman, WREG TV, News Channel 3. And that's why we're listening. Virginia says that she hopes to continue to educate people about the perils of accidental exposure to fentanyl.